Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio. Welcome to the next Let's Animate Blender 2.8 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be making an explosion simulation. Let's begin by making the particles. Under your Output tab, change the frame end to 75. Then delete the cube and add a UV sphere. In edit mode, delete the bottom half of the sphere because we only want the actual flames and smoke to go upwards. Tab back into object mode. Then under the particles tab, we want to add a particle system. And then rename the particle system fuel. Now you need to do this in both slots. Change the emission number to 600. Play your animation. Now you notice that we have small particles emitting from the emitter, which is the UV sphere. Change the frame end to 2, since we'll only be using one frame for the initial explosion. Change the lifetime to 6, so the particles will have a lifespan of 6 frames. Then change the limited randomness to 1 in order to limit the random variation. Then twirl open the velocity section and change your normal to 8 to give it a starting velocity and then change the randomness to 8 to give it a starting random variation. Now we're going to work on the simulator. In object mode add a cube and this is going to be our domain. Then under your physics tab we want to choose smoke and then for the type choose domain. You can change the resolution divisions to a higher number in order to increase the quality of the animation. This number will depend on your computer's rendering capabilities. For this tutorial I'm just going to leave it at 32. and scale the cube up by 8 so we can cover the explosion area. And then we need to move the cube up along the z-axis so the bottom rests near the bottom of the UV sphere. Now let's work on the fuel. Select your UV sphere and then back under the physics tab choose smoke and then change the type to flow. This tells Blender that the UV sphere is the emitter within the domain. For the flow source we're going to change this to particle system and then choose fuel for the actual particle system. Now when we run the animation you'll notice that we have smoke coming from the UV sphere. 
Now change the flow type to fire. This way the smoke is actually produced by the fire itself. Change the flame rate to 4. And this will increase the size of the fire. Now we need to add a keyframe. So make sure that you're on frame number 1. Place your mouse over the flame rate and then hit I on your keyboard. And go to frame 6. Then change your flame rate to 0.5 and hit I to add another keyframe. Now when you run the animation, you see a quick explosion followed by fire and smoke. Now select the cube, and then under the Physics tab in the Flame section, change your smoke to 2.5, and this will increase the amount of smoke created by the fuel. Then under the Viewport Display section, change the thickness to 5, and this will thicken the smoke. Now we need to add materials, so make sure that your cube is still selected. And then under the Shading Workspace, add a material. Delete the principled BSD shader, and then add a principled volume shader. This is under the shader section. Then connect the volume output from the principled volume node to the volume input of the material output node. Then add a shader node. And then place it between the two existing nodes. Then add an attribute node. And change the name to flame. And add a math node. And change add to multiply. Add an emission node. Connect the factor output of the attribute node to the top value input of the multiply node. And then change the bottom value to 5. Then connect the value output of the math node to the strength input of the emission node. And then you can change the color of the emission node. I'm going to use the hex code of FFA F3A. Then connect the emission output of the emission node to the shader input of the add shader node. Now open the Properties panel with your N key, and open the View tab. Then under the View Lock, 
check lock camera to view. This will allow you to move the meshes without needing to move the camera itself. Then go into camera mode and you can move and scale the meshes as desired. Open up the world tab and change the background color to whatever you desire. You could change mine to complete black. Select the UV sphere and open up the particles tab. Then under the render section, uncheck show emitter. We do this because we don't want the actual UV sphere to be rendered. Under your render tab, change your render to 120. Then under the volumetric section, if your computer can handle it, you can change the tile size to 2 and that will increase the quality of the render. For this tutorial I'm just going to leave mine on 8. Now we're going to bake. So select the cube and open up your physics tab. Then under the cache section Change the simulation end to 75. Save your Blender file. And then click on Bake. Now for rendering, go to your Output tab and choose where you want to save the render. Then change the file format to your preferred movie format. I'm just going to use AVI JPEG. Then save your project. Then to render the animation, go to your render dropdown and choose render animation. And there you have your explosion simulation. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day. I hope you found this useful. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations or any creations you make in Blender. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.